Hey guys, so I wanted to show you how this, you can turn this $2 sponge into a shoulder rest for a violin. Let's do it. Okay guys, so this basically is a cheap dollar shop sponge. I said it cost $2, maybe it was a dollar, but um, it's cheap as anything. And then what you need to be able to do is, if you can, is to attach it to your violin with a rubber band or um, a hair tie. I tried with a hair tie and failed. So normally I have a, a large size rubber band. I can't find it. So I've gone back to my chin rest. Uh, I've gone back to my shoulder rest. So normally if I just show you on the back here, Normally you would tie the, the rubber band, you loop it around your little uh, thing here and you can take it off. You can put two, so one here and one onto this one as well. So the main question was like, does it mute, does it mute your violin? Now, I just gotta find my, uh, I just gotta find my bow, hang on. So basically it sits there under there and when it's strapped on, it probably does an even better job. And it just, it just can really mold to your shoulder quite well. And I used this for a long time. Definitely, if you're really struggling with uh, a shoulder rest, yeah, like if you can't find a shoulder rest that is fitting you, I definitely recommend a sponge. Yeah, fits quite nicely in your case, do it. But, um, so I will show you what the shoulder rest that I use now. So, I use a, um, a Wolf Forte Secondo. And it's one of the ones that you can, you can bend it, it flexes, so it has a metal um, plate uh, under the cushioning and you can bend it. The only thing, I wanna just put my violin down for a sec and just show this to you guys. Okay, so what I wanna show you with this, one thing really important is that if you are someone who needs a severe bend in their shoulder rest for some reason, like maybe you're really bony or anything. The thing I wanna point out to you is that the more you bend it, the more these arms here, they start to splay out, okay? So they splay out and it makes it looser on the violin. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So the more, let me turn the violin this way. So the more that you turn, you put a bend in these flexible ones, the more they don't fit on your violin anymore. Can you see that? Can you see how on this side here, we have it mounted. But then when we try to mount it on this side, it just, can you see that? Can you see how it goes? We can go all the way up there and it doesn't, it won't stay on. And it's because of the whole concept of like, the arms, the forks are sticking out. Now, if I can just, yeah, I'm just trying to, here, let me just put my violin here and do this, okay. So what we'll do now is let's bend it back to the way it was. Okay, so that's, it's pretty much where it was. Okay, it's probably gonna take me a while just to get that back to normal, but you guys are worth it. Okay, so now, okay, this, these, these two forks, are level so when we put this on it clips on again so now we it's mounted so even though they tell you with these bendable shoulder rests um, they're not good if you need a severe bend now you can buy ones I know the fiddler man uh, fiddler shop definitely sells them I've seen them on his one but you get the ones that are really 
They have that really flowing curve into them and they're designed that way. If you need something like that, you need to buy that style. Don't try and get a flat one that you can bend because it doesn't work. It really doesn't work. The amount of twisting and bending and the chances of breaking is really high. It's like a $40 uh, shoulder rest. So yeah, shoulder rests are the way to go. So let, let's now do a test between the both. See if we can hear in here the difference between a sponge and a shoulder rest to see if it actually makes a difference in volume. I personally think no, but let's do it. All right, so first up, let's do shoulder rest. this off. Sponge on my shoulder. Okay, I can I can feel and hear no difference. The only thing I can think that if you're if you're having a lot of like instability in your shoulder rest, this is gonna make it so much better. And if you can actually mount it onto your violin with some rubber bands, I think uh, this will solve in the meantime until you can find a shoulder rest that really works for you. You're gonna find that this shoulder rest is going to basically take the shape of your shoulder in exactly the same way as mine has. So I use mine for years and you can see that it started to take on the shape of my shoulder and where I push down. So they're not a bad thing, they're cheap as. They're so cheap. And you can even buy specific ones for the violin too. So if you're thinking about using a sponge, use one. You've now seen one under a violin and the comfort is amazing. Okay, well there you go guys. Let's um, see you in the next video.